Hello, YouTube Dr. Carlo here, and in this video, I just want to do a commentary on a, a news post I saw on Facebook that my alma mater, the University of Puerto Rico, accepted, listen to this, a 14-year-old into the medical school program, 14 years old. So that means they already finished all their college prerequisites at age 14. Now, by the time she gets to school, she might be 15. I was 20 when I started medical school, and I was in cloud nine, like thinking all this, I'm all that. 14? Come on! That's amazing! Uh, when it was in my class, I had a 19 year old start medical school because she did three years of college and just went straight to medical school instead of doing the whole four. So, so she was also ahead of me. And uh, here's my commentary after uh, being young, getting out of medical school residency. So, don't hurry into going to the job market. I mean, if you have that big of a brain and you're challenging yourself and you go to medical school, awesome. So, if a person has that much brain power, they're that smart, of course, challenge yourself, go to medical school, but don't stop there. Don't just be a doctor. Don't go into residency, you know, and be, well, she was gonna graduate, what, at 18? Be 21, finishing family practice, general medicine. Maybe she'll, she'll see a neurosurgery or something like that. She'll be in the early 20s when she finishes that program. Um, go into research. I mean, go into a, a MD-PhD program and do research, contribute knowledge. I mean, you have a brain that needs to be exploited, that needs to be used to bring up the knowledge of medicine, not just be another doctor dying with some problem. We have plenty of those. You got me, you know, out there in the frontiers, taking care of little boils and abscesses and ankle sprains. You have too much brain to be diagnosing the flu or diagnosing a cold. Uh, become house MD, you know, go to a place like um, a Cleveland Clinic or Mayo Clinic where they do the real difficult cases and nobody else can diagnose. Um, I'm just telling you this. I had a lot of doctors tell me, don't just be an ER doctor, go do something else, go do a PhD program. I almost went to an MD PhD program, went to Loma Linda University to a PhD. I just didn't want to spend another three years, then come back, finish my two years of medical school. I had it all set up and I didn't. And if I had, I wouldn't be doing as much clinical work. I obviously would be involved in research and things like that, which I would be contributing to medical knowledge, publishing articles, hopefully be in the frontier or something. Not that I don't feel fulfilled with what I'm doing, sure. Uh, the YouTube actually is what kind of brings my practice to the next level. If I weren't doing YouTube and education and keeping up with my, my CMEs, and I'd be just another ER doctor. And uh, I don't wanna be that, I wanna be more than that. Um, and if I didn't do these videos in education, I'd be pretty bored. And that's where there's so much burnout in the career because after a while, it's kind of the same thing. Um, it's the colds, the congestion, the chest pain, the belly pain. Yeah, every so often you get a challenging case, but even those, you don't get to follow up and see it all the way through. Patients don't come back and say, thank you for saving my life. Or no, they thank the other doctor that already got the diagnosis down to the bottom, you know, so anyway, I'm proud of you, girl, for getting into medical school at 14. You got me beat, you got an awesome brain, but don't stop there. Do an MD-PhD program, publish articles, do research, um, just do more, all right? Don't stop there, girl. Keep going. All right, bye-bye. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you don't miss any new episodes.